Welcome to the seventh scriptural station of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The seventh station, Jesus is given the cross. We praise you, Jesus, and we give you thanks, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. So our artistic features today are focused primarily on the person of Jesus and the image of him embracing the cross and with the byline saying, then they led him away. So we push on this icon and we allow it to draw us into the moment when Jesus is forced to carry the instrument of torture upon which he will soon be so brutally crucified. Our scripture passage today comes from the gospel according to John. Then Pilate handed Jesus over to be crucified. Jesus was led away and carrying the cross by himself went out to what is called the place of the skull. The gospel of the Lord. Our reflection today is entitled, The Greatest of All Belgians' Heroes. Just down the street from the American College in Louvain, Belgium, is a small chapel by the name of Damienkerk, or Damien's Church. In a crypt below the altar lies the partial remains of Joseph de Veuster, still considered today to be the greatest of all Belgium's great men and women. But he's better known to all of us as Damien the leper. From his youth, Joseph dreamed of being a missionary in America. He applied to the American College, a seminary preparing for men to work in the United States, but he couldn't pass the entrance exam. Eventually, he joined another missionary group, the Picpus Fathers, and he chose Damien as his religious name on the day of his profession. After ordination, he was sent to work on the big island of Hawaii. He soon learned how the scourge of leprosy was ravaging the native Hawaiians, and since there was no cure to this terrible disease, people with leprosy were being banished to a tiny island of Molokai, where they suffered greatly from a lack of food and shelter and the basic necessities of life. The local bishop recognized the great need of these poor people and asked for priest volunteers who would be willing to travel to Molokai occasionally to minister to the lepers there. Four priests volunteered. One of them was Damien. He had thought carefully about the risk he was taking by exposing himself to the disease, but he wanted to give his life completely over to the Lord. And so on May 10, 1873, Damien was the first priest to be rowed to shore at the Kalawao leper colony on Molokai. And to the surprise and amazement of the people there, he announced that he had come not to visit, but to live there. He spoke to the assembled lepers as one who will be a father to you and who loves you so much that he does not hesitate to become one of you, to live and to die with you. True to his word, Damien took up permanent residence on Molokai where he helped the people to build a church dedicated to St. Philomena. Besides serving as a priest, Damien dressed residence ulcers, built a reservoir for clean water, helped people build homes and furniture, made coffins, and dug graves. Six months after his arrival at the leper colony, Kalawao, he wrote to his brother Pamphil in, in Europe, I make myself a leper with the lepers to gain all to Jesus Christ. Eventually, word of Father Damien's ministry among the lepers reached all parts of the world and support for his beloved leper community began to arrive. But by then, Damien himself had contracted leprosy. And although he tried to advance a number of projects in his last years, leprosy would claim his life in 1889 when he was merely 49 years old. When he was canonized in 2009, King Boudouin of Belgium built Damien's church in Louvain in his honor and brought some of his remains from Hawaii to be buried there. 
but his original grave still remains at the leper colony's cemetery on Molokai. And by a wonderful twist of fate, Damien's original dream of working as a missionary in the United States would finally come true when Hawaii became our 50th state in 1959. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, the cause of your greatest dread in the Garden of Gethsemane is now upon you as the cross on which you will soon be nailed is laid upon your shoulder. I wonder if at that moment the, cro the thought crossed your mind that this didn't have to happen, that your life didn't have to end this way, that you could have avoided this moment and the terrible things to come if only you had pushed back against the will of your Father and asked him to find another way to redeem his people that was not so costly, so painful, so overwhelming, so permanent. All those years when you prayed to God saying, not my will but yours be done, was practice for this moment, when embracing the will of the Father meant taking up the cross and letting go of all your plans and dreams, all your possessions, projects and accomplishments, all the people you loved and cherished the most in this world, letting go of absolutely everything, everything, and placing yourself totally and completely in the hands of God. Lord, somehow you managed to do that. Somehow, centuries later, Damien the leper did the same, when in response to your invitation, he took up his cross and chose to dedicate himself totally and completely in life and in death to the lepers of Molokai. Lord, when it is my turn to shoulder the cross in whatever form it may take in my life, help me to be like you and like Damien and like so many men and women before me who have had the faith and the courage to say, Father, if it is possible, take this cup from me, but not my will, but yours be done. Amen. So here's an invitation for today. Spend some time today taking the measure of your willingness to say to the Lord, not my will, but yours be done. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>